Hey y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. Today I am going to do a seed video. So I am revealing all the seeds I ordered this year. Uh, finally got them this week. And so I'm gonna go through everything that I have ordered and I'm planting. Um, I also have ordered some berry bushes. And when we get those from Stark Brothers, um, we will go over those as well. So I'm gonna first go over the, all the seeds that I ordered from Fruition Seeds. Fruition is local. Uh, it's about two hours from me. And Central New York, all her seeds are designed for my growing region. Um, so I'm gonna go over those, and this is in no particular order because I pretty much am just too excited to organize them right now. Um, so these are all the things I've ordered and we'll be planting. Sweet bell pepper. Hunter, you wanna get in every video, don't you? <laughs> these are for my kids. My kids love sweet peppers. They will eat them every day um, in their lunch, so we will be eating lots of those. I got a hot pepper. This is a red rocket. Uh, it's really good for drying, so I will be using this to dry um, and to season things later on. Habanera, which I'm probably saying a little bit wrong. Um, this is a habanero, but it's without the heat. Um, again, my kids love sweet peppers, so this will be for them. I'm not a big fan of the colored peppers. I just haven't acquired that taste. Um, I wish I did. I wish I liked them more. I like green peppers, though. Um, this is a lettuce. This one is a loose leaf, so this one we can cut and continue to grow. This one is a romaine. It's Play-Doh 2 lettuce. This one is well, <laughs> my sugar snap peas. My daughter could eat peas all day long. She loves them. So we will be growing lots of those. That'll probably be in her garden as well. Um, sweet corn. I have not been super successful with corn in the past. So I'm really excited to try a sweet corn. I just tried a typical corn, you know, buying at the um, big box stores. Those seeds, and they've never really done super well. So this one is you know designed for my region so I'm hoping it does well uh, let's see got a winter squash honey nut I'm really excited about preserving this for the winter cantaloupe I could eat cantaloupe every day I love cantaloupe um, and I've never grown it so I'm excited about that one of course I have to have a watermelon for summer I have Uncle Willie's these are a bush bean um, and they're dry beans so we will be preserving these as dry beans um, and I make hand some of those as well Another pole dry bean. This one is say skunk. Yeah, I'm totally saying that wrong. But they're kind of cool because they're pretty black and white. Got one of the carrots. And I also got a dragon carrot. So it's purple on the outside and orange on the inside. Um, whenever, I've ever, whenever I've had colored carrots, um, organic colored carrots from the grocery store, they're really sweet and I really like them. So I'm excited about trying that. Holy basil. This I am growing intermittently with my tomatoes and my peppers um, because it's a really good companion plant for them. Chamomile, multiple reasons. Um, chamomile tea I plan on making. Also, chamomile is really good for bees. Uh, the flower is really good and really easy for them to get um, the pollen and the nectar from. Which is, the nectar is really what they're after. Got a golden rush uh, snap bean. So this one is a bush bean. Um, my other beans are a pole bean, and I've never done pole beans, I've always done bush, so I'm excited to try these ones. These are pink tip greasies, um, pole snap beans, and I'm excited to trellis these and kind of create an archway and see how that goes. My yellow onion, this is a New York early, so this one is also, it's good for New York, obviously, New York early, um, but it also is a long lasting one, so I want things that are going to store. I don't want things for just right now. Um, when I'm when I'm planting them and growing them, I want them to last through the winter. Also, so you know we don't have to buy. That's the whole point. We don't want to buy things through the through the winter. Also, I've got a red onion. Um, my husband loves red loves red onion on burgers and things. So I'm not a big fan of red onion, but these are also long storing, so they'll they'll last through winter as well. Let's see chives, good for bees. Awesome eating. Um, I love seasoning with chives. Um, then a lot of these are my, my flowers. These are mostly for bees. Um, I am having, I've talked about having my four, four nooks coming. Um, so these ones are, are good for them. I like to look for ones that are, they say they're good for pollinators. Um, this one doesn't say it right on it, but it is one of the ones that's good for them. Um, because I think if we can plant things around our gardens, um, to attract more pollinators. Pollinators don't really come for our vegetables so much because they don't have a lot of nectar, um, but they will come in if there's other things too. Yarrow, really good companion plant for a lot of things um, and also really good for attracting pollinators. Echinacea, 
again, good for bees, also good for medicinal purposes, um, good for immune support. So I plan on trying to do some herbal remedies with that. Marshmallow, um, the root itself is medicinal, um, but it is a perennial, so I'm not sure how much I'll actually use the root. Good for pollinators. Sunflower, um, this one's the Lemon Queen. This one is, it's a really tall one, um, grows up to 12 feet. I plan on doing a ring for my kids with this one. Uh, to see how they, if they want to play in it and everything. Tobacco, um, it's not tobacco like, you know, chewing tobacco or, you know, anything like that. It's a flower. Um, it's beautiful and it's really good for hummingbirds. It's got that nice cone to it and I'm excited about that. Cosmos, I've got a couple Cosmos in here. Let me see if I can find my other ones. Um, I love Cosmos. I actually got hooked on Cosmos when um, one of the cereal companies um, had a Cosmo, they gave away Cosmos in their uh, boxes of cereal to save the bees and I love them they're beautiful they grow the the foliage on it not just the flowers the foliage is beautiful and they're really interesting and they do attract um, a lot of bees barrage awesome awesome for bees and butterflies calendula herbal remedies and pollinators Painted Lady Sweet Peas, they're just so pretty. They just like pretty too. Marigolds, marigolds, I mean, almost everybody knows they're great for um, deterring pests in your garden and attracting pollinators. Now this sunflower, I don't know how much you can see how huge that is. That's Petra from Fruition Seeds. That thing is huge. This one is one that we can harvest the seeds from for eating, for bird seed, for our chickens, um, anything like that and obviously for eating ourselves and storing. We get excited about that. This one is called Bees Friend. Um, Felicia is the, the technical name, but really good for bees, obviously. Um, this one is one that kind of has like spiky things on it. I think it's just really cool. Kale, never grown kale, but I live in the perfect region to grow kale. Kale doesn't do as well in the south because of the heat. Um, so I'm really excited about doing that one and seeing how sweet it gets up here. Lemon balm, really good companion plant. Also, you can make teas and things out of it. Catnip, good companion plant. Also, I'm excited because my cat's out. I have an outdoor cat, um, and I'm sure he'll love that. Dill, I plan on baking pickles this year, so dill will be extremely important to have, not have to buy it. I've always had to buy it in the grocery store, um, and I don't wanna buy things anymore. Parsley, I didn't start parsley when I started my herbs indoors, mostly because I forgot to order it. Um, so I'm excited to have that parsley for outside. My cucumber, this one's my pickling cucumber. I have two kinds of cu cucumbers because my kids can eat cucumbers like crazy, um, but I do want a pickling one so it's a little bit shorter. And there's my slicer. My tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I've got the Paul Robeson Roots and Refuge. She, you know, couldn't say enough about Paul Robesons, so I had to try them. Um, I love slicers for, you know, tomato sandwiches, but also I do a lot of canning, so that'll be for that. I ordered two packets of Paul Robeson. I ordered two of most of my um, tomatoes. I have two paste tomatoes. These are Italian heirloom. They're both the same. Um, and then I also have in my other seeds that are up there, actually, I have my Amish paste from Johnny Select Seeds um, because that's a huge paste tomato. Cherry tomatoes. My son will eat cherry tomatoes like candy. And so I had to get those. And he will probably put that in his own little garden. Um, they're each going to have their own garden. Zucchini. I just love zucchini. I'm pretty much the only one who likes it in my house other than in zucchini bread. Summer squash, broccoli, and then my jalapeno, and this is for salsa. And then here's my ones from Johnny Selected Seeds. Um, these are ones that Fruition didn't have. I'm trying to order pretty much all from Fruition just because she's so local, um, but if she doesn't have it, then I'm ordering from elsewhere. Brussels sprouts, asparagus, which I will be doing a video on later today. Um, how to grow these because this has got to get started now. Rhubarb perennial up here, so that's really good. These are pie pumpkins, so they're a denser pumpkin. Um, I'm excited to try the pie pumpkins. I've never canned pumpkin, so I'm very excited to try that. Here's a jack o' lantern pumpkin, um, it's an F1 hybrid. Those are for the kids. <laughs> okay, so I was looking for. Um, Black Eyed Susans, and I couldn't find them anywhere, and I did not realize they go by the name of Rubecchia, um, and that is, so that is this one, 
maybe in summer, and it's a really pretty golden one. Mint. Mint is really good for bees and repelling pests around the beehive, um, but don't plant it in your ground or you will have mint everywhere and your whole yard will smell like mint, which if you like that, go ahead and do it. Um, these ones are a hybrid hot pepper and F1. They're called lightning. They are banana peppers. Cauliflower. I'm excited to try cauliflower. I've never grown it before. Um, I've heard it's a little bit difficult to grow and it probably will be a little more difficult for me because it likes well-drained soil. I don't have well-drained soil, so I'm going to have to definitely put something around these um, to make sure the soil drains pretty well. Got my celery. And then strawberries. So I'm excited to do the strawberries this year. Never done strawberries. Um, I've canned strawberries you know, and jams for years, um, but I'm, I've never grown them myself, so I'm excited to do those. And then lastly, I also ordered from Fruition garlic. So I ordered a bit of garlic. I will be planting these probably next weekend. Or not garlic, ginger. I'm sorry, ginger. And I've never grown ginger. This is something that's new to fruition this year as well, and she's done a webinar on it. So if you have questions, um, concerns about growing ginger, she does an awesome webinar. Um, I will, once I am doing them, I will show a video on that as well. And one really nice thing I like about it is she sends a nice guide on how to grow it. So those are all my seeds that I'm doing this year. And I will be sowing them over the next few weeks in my binder. I have um, organized what week to start um, all my seeds. So I have them set up my seed starting timeline. Basically um, 12 to 14 weeks before last frost, 10 to 12 weeks, 8 to 10, 6 to 8, 4 to 6. Um, and then on the back, I have my direct sow timeline. That I pretty much got from Botanical Interests. Um, their insert in their, they had a little thing in their um, their catalog this year. They had the when to start and everything. Um, so that was really helpful. And that's how I got organized so that I don't miss any seed starts. Um, I will probably go through again and actually put which packets into, you know, packets that I'm starting at different weeks into different bags. Um, just so I have it organized so I'm, I'm not, not missing anything. Um, obviously there's a lot of direct sew as well in here, but a lot of these I'm going to start inside. So I'm excited. Join me on the next one and please like and subscribe. Thanks.